God bless. <laughs> Who won? I don't know. I have to think about it. But Anita's no joke. She stood her ground. I have to say that. Uh, after they finish fighting, they come to a truce because as much as they hate each other, now both of them hate Lucius. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> Hi, this is Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay. And we're here today to talk about Empire. Okay. Okay, it's a wrap. Did you enjoy Empire on Fox TV? Empire is so much fun. The phenomenal success of Empire can be attributed to the great cast, awesome music, strong marketing, and great writing. We love Taraji P. Henson as Cookie, but clearly Empire is Jamal's story. It's the story of triumph. This little boy who was so ostracized rises to the top, right? It's a great story. It's like a, a fairy tale, you know, like Cinderella or even a Marvel hero, okay? Like Spider-Man, right? You're right, he's rising to the top. You know, the person that nobody, people least expected, okay. So much fun Empire is, right? And by the way, Lucius is not dying. I think it was a mistake to reveal that Lucius had been misdiagnosed early on in the, in the series of the shows. But I guess, you know, uh, this is the first year, you're hoping it's gonna go five to 10 years. Maybe they could have said it in season three or four, I don't know. But we'll see what happens with that. We'll see how it goes. Um, I guess Camilla now, remember he sent her to London. She said, I'll be back. You know, you'll be dead soon. So I guess she won't be coming back from London anytime soon. <laughs> Lucius is looking forward to this concert, right? He's full of himself. He's talking da da da. And Cookie and Malcolm, surprise, Cookie says she's only been with Lucius, which I was very surprised to hear. I don't know, you know how true that is, whatever, because she's been in jail and everything else. But maybe she means with men. She's on, never had sex. She hasn't had sex with, I don't know. All right, so we're going to leave that alone. Right. So Cookie and Malcolm, it's this wonderful scene. They're on the floor. They make love. Whoever shot this uh, love scene took such care. They did a beautiful job with it. Very romantic, very touching, very sensitive, very well done. All right, so anyway, she falls hard for Malcolm, but um, she doesn't want to follow Malcolm to Washington, M Malcolm asks. You know, if she wants, you know, if you want, you know, we can live together and I'll take you to Washington and I'll take care of you. It's so sweet. <laughs> I love that. However, Cookie's like, no, mm -mm. I work too hard. Uh, you know, I spent too much time behind bars. I got too much stuff happening to me here. And you can imagine Cookie sees her name in lights. Remember at one point she's standing outside and she's seeing Cookie Lions Presents. And of course she loves that. All this celebrity. We are in a celebrity driven society. So Cookie's not going to give all that up, even for love. She's not going to give all that up. All right. In another scene, Lucius is served legal papers, Beretti's injunction that he can't use certain songs. So Lucius is just livid. Snoop Dogg performs. He asks Hakeem to join him on stage. Hakeem shows his behind as he normally does, which he's world famous for. He totally embarrasses his father. So his father then gives him a nice punch right in the face afterward. <laughs> so Cookie has her own ambitions. She basks in the sunshine as she sees her name in lights. She's happy until Lucius locks her outside the office and humiliates her in front of the entire office. Again, Lucius betrays Cookie. So you gotta think it's because, uh, you know, she had sex with somebody else, even though he's had sex with everybody in the world, you know, it's all right. Okay. so. Uh, once again, we look at Andre. We go to Andre, who's visiting Miss White. And that's the Jennifer Hudson character at the church. You know, they're prayer partners, remember? <laughs> Andre has a heart-to-heart -heart with Lucius. Andre says he's found God. And uh, Lucius informs Andre that Mrs. White is leaving the church to be with him on his empire, uh, empire um, roster. Okay, so Andre is heartbroken. We have to say a lot of people leave the church uh, once they, you know, if they can, you know, if you got the looks and everything like that, and they'll leave the church and they'll go ahead and they have a career outside the church. And then when they get older, they come back again because now, you know, the record sales are down and everything like that. So that happens all the time. All right. In another scene, Lucius calls Jamal, the future of empire, wondering if he has the monster in him that uh, Lucius feels he had. 
Jamal takes Lucius back to the old neighborhood. They go in the old house and they play some music. They bond together. They challenge each other vocally. And then Lucius challenges Jamal to get Empire's music back. Can you be tough and rough? And you see a scene where Jamal is holding um, Beretti over the balcony. You sign this. You sign. <laughs> he's telling him, you sign this music or whatever he's saying, whatever it is. You sign it back over to Empire. You know, he's, he's showing how tough he can be, right? Okay, he can take care of business. All right. So we said Lucius doesn't have, um, he's not terminal anymore, right? Yeah, it was misdiagnosed. Like I said, I, I didn't like that too much, but you know, that's fine. Uh, Lucius gets religion, right? He asked Miss White to make a record with him. And, uh, you know, Andre's like, this was his thing, you know, this religious thing. Nobody else was doing it. And now here's Lucius, you know, making everything just ugly, you know, because he's even grabs uh, Jennifer, looks over the shoulder at, at his son and kind of gives him the evil eye. Like, yeah, I, I'm going to get this too. I, I just stick my, you know what, into everything. <laughs> There's a big scene that includes Cookie walking into Lucius's bedroom to murder him. She's going to smother him with a pillow. But then Lucius starts talking in sleep. He confesses to killing Bunky. He starts hallucinating that Bunky is sitting right there on his bed. <laughs> it's kind of a spooky little scene, but it's very well done. I like that, right? All right, so Lucius wakes up the next morning and he has all these presents for um, his son, all right? And then he announces while he's giving out these presents, each one has a little symbolic meaning, but the scepter goes to Jamal, which means he's running the company. That's the bottom line. Okay. But then he calls Cookie into the room to get her present and her present is a pillow. So Lucius gives Cookie the pillow signifying, okay, you tried to kill me, I guess, you know, cause that's what she was going to do with the pillow. Right. And then he informs her that there was a camera in the room the whole time. The camera caught her doing this. All right. And he shows it, you know, shows in front of the boys and everybody how she was going to kill him. <laughs> but I don't think the, the guys pretend like they shot, but they're not. You know, they know that they wanted to kill the father a couple of times themselves. So, yeah, that's not a big deal. What's the problem? So for revenge sake, you see Lucius throwing Cookie out of the office, out of Empire, throwing her off the board, saying that she can't. She's a felon. But they knew she was a felon from day one. So, you know, come on. It's been all over the place that she's been in the jail. All right. So he throws her out. While Cookie is standing outside the venue, here comes Agent Carter. And she's telling her, what do you know about Bunky's death? Again, here we go. You know, and she pressures Cookie to rat Lucius out. And guess what? One of the oh my gosh moments is when they show an insert or a scene, a short scene of Lucius. He eyeballs Akeem and Anita having sex. Yeah, yeah. And they look at him back like, is there a problem? <laughs> I know. All right, so one of the artists, they don't like gay people, evidently, because they call Jamal a fairy and uh, bitches and all this kind of stuff. And they don't want him, they don't want to be on a label where Jamal is in charge of it, okay? They don't want to be bothered with him, okay? So they have like a sing-off kind of thing. It's very Glee-ish, but it's fun. I loved it. Cookie and Hakeem bond over the idea of a hostile takeover. But Cookie and Anita have the mother of all cat fights. I'm telling you. <laughs> this was classic, all right? Can you imagine? This is going to be YouTube for years. <laughs> the fight that they had, all right? You got to see it. So yeah, it's a straight up fight. Yeah, you got the hair pulling. You got the punches. You got the, uh, the liquor goes in the face first. And you can imagine when you, anybody had lick in their face, if it gets in your eyes, it's not good. All right. So, uh, but yeah. Then um, Cookie, you know, they, they, yeah, they're fist fighting now. It's not a slap or, or nothing like that. This is get, get down and, you know, Muhammad Ali versus uh, Frazier or whatever this thing is in my day. That's what it was. <laughs> so, all right. Some of you, you know, Mike Tyson, whoever. Who won? I don't know. I have to think about it. But Anita's no joke. You know, she, she hung, she stood her ground. I have to say that. Uh, after they finish fighting, they come to a truce because as much as they hate each other, now both of them hate Lucius and 
the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> right? So then they go back and they're all friends now because they all want to get Lucius, right? They want to do a hostile takeover and get Lucius. So now everybody's friends now. Hakeem, Cookie, Anita, the whole bunch. All right, let's go get Lucius. Here we go. In another scene, Cookie has a heart to heart with Vernon. Vernon, what did you do? Kind of thing. And did you know that uh, Lucius killed Bunky? Vernon then goes to see Andre, you know, to kind of smooth things over so they can talk. One thing leads to another and they start fist fighting now. Um, it looked as if maybe Vernon was getting the best of Andre at one point. So in comes Rhonda. She sees her man getting beat up and even though they're supposed to be estranged, you know, it's okay. That's my man. She hits, Rhonda takes a candlestick and hits Vernon over the head with it. So we don't know if Vernon is dead. We don't know what happened to the body because after they hit Vernon with the candlestick, they don't show that scene anymore. But something else we find out during the scene is that Rhonda is pregnant. So now that presents another issue here. All right, here we go. Um, Lucius is opening the New York Stock Exchange and he's like, where's Vernon? You know, now we know that something happened to him because he was hit over the candlestick, but we don't, they don't show us. So we don't know. I guess that's a cliffhanger for next season. Well, but we find out that Lucius's real name is Dwight Walker and he turned into Lucius Lyon, the one who cannot be killed. <laughs> we'll see, right? Okay. So Lucius is feeling pretty extra until the police arrive to arrest him for Bunky's murder. All right. So, um, the concert still goes on. Jamal sings. Patty LaBelle is asked to join him on stage and the duet goes very well. And there's a short montage of scenes of Cookie, Lucius, and the boys, and the young men rather, when they were young, you know, little boys. It's so cute and so touching. This show is so well done. The last scene shows Lucius, okay, he's staring at us. He's staring at us right in the camera through, you know, the bars in jail. And he says, game on, bitches. <laughs> right. So until we meet again, okay, I hope everybody enjoyed Empire. I so enjoyed doing it. I had so much fun with you guys. Write me. Uh, and you can always join us for our movie reviews. Remember, we do movie reviews every week. All right? So don't be a stranger. Drop me a line. Say hello. And pick up some of the other things that we do. We also do Scandal. Um, all right. And if you want me to do something else, let me know. All right. Until we meet again, it's Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay. God bless you.